to the lesson for today. I am Dr. A. Fauzia Kausar, Assistant Professor in Economics from Holy Cross College. We are going to see today the lesson of application of cost of function in economics with the relationship of mathematical functions. Objectives of uh, this lesson to describe the concept of cost of function, list the various kinds of cost of functions are available and apply this cost function with the help of mathematics. So here the term mathematics or mathematical tool what we use is differentiation. So here I just uh, give a overview that we will see what is cost function then different kinds of cost functions and the application how it can be applied with the help of mathematics. So first of all we will see what is the meaning. So cost function which normally incur during the time of manufacturer uh, when he starts a business. So cost function plays a, a powerful role in analyzing the various kinds of uh, prices then you will have uh, various kinds of understanding and uh, this function will help you to understand as well as it uh, helps uh, analyze the behavior of the firm and their production process. Cost functions are mathematical representation which helps to understand the relationship between the goods and services cost incurred with the help of various factors such as price, price which has been incurred then the, with the help of uh, in the time of production function because they are uh, very essential in for making production uh, in decision making process, pricing strategy as well as it helps the firms for the assessing the economic efficiency to assess the economic efficiency it helps. So first we'll see what are the various types of costs. First cost is total cost, the cost which is include two important concepts that is fixed cost and variable cost. What is variable cost and what is fixed cost? As you know production function consists of land, labor and organization and the remuneration of those things are like for land we uh, remuneration is rent and for labor we just pay wage or salary and for uh, capital we pay the rate of interest as well as the organization may incur profit or loss. So the remuneration of those things are that. Now the total cost includes that uh, fixed cost, the cost which is like capital then sometimes capital can be vary in short run. Uh, in the long run may change all the variables may be become a variable cost. So here the fixed cost like machinery and uh, the land which is invested for the business so comes under a uh, fixed cost. The variable cost like paying cost or uh, salary or wage to the laborer and interest which is paid to the capital uh, investment which is made by the manufacturer comes under variable cost. Then we are going to see the average cost. How it can be uh, easily calculated when we just divide the total cost with the quantity demanded. Total quantity demanded can be uh, can be divided by the total cost to arrive this total average cost. Then what is marginal cost? An addition made to the total cost is called, simply called a marginal cost. So here in, with the help of mathematics how we will arrive? It is very simple that by the term magic tool differentiation we arrive this marginal cost. By differentiating the total cost we arrive the marginal cost. So now we will see this application of cost function uh, with the help of differentiation. So the cost function as we already explain so it uh, tells about uh, the mathematical representation or the relationship between which help us to understand the relationship between the cost of production of goods and services and various factors such as the level of production input price and the technology okay we are going to see with the help of one mathematical sum. So in the mathematical sum what we are going to uh, derive like average cost, marginal cost, then price and output as well as profit. So this is the sum what we are going to see is the calculate average cost, marginal cost, price, output and profit for a perfectly competitive market. Uh, so the function uh, the given with the given function. So functions are when total cost is equal to 100 plus 4q plus 0.2q square and market demand that is P is equal to 20 minus 0.1 Q. So this is the sum which is uh, we are going to calculate today. 
Yes, the sum is total cost in the given sum they have given total cost as well as market demand that is P. So though these two functions have been given now we have to find average cost then marginal cost then we need to find a quantity output and we need to find price as well as profit ok. So these are all the things today we are going to find with the help of differentiation. So first we need to calculate average cost. What is the formula to calculate average cost? In the previous slide itself I have given you the hint that by dividing the total cost we may calculate the average cost. So simply I just apply the formula AC is equal to TC by Q. So I have the function 100 minus 4Q plus 0.2q, 2q square. So when you divide this function by q, we may derive the function. So 100 by q minus 4.2q. So this is the average cost. Now we have to find the q value as well as to find the average cost. Okay. So, as we have found what is AC, now we will calculate MC. MC is a differentiation of total cost, we will give you the answer. So, now let us uh, compute this. When you differentiate the cost function, it becomes 0. So, I am just leaving it. Uh, the rest of the function is minus 4 plus 0.4q. So, 0.4q is the MC. In the perfectly market, that is competitive market, MC will be equal to MR, which is equal to price. So, with the help of this, uh, MC is equal to MR. Now we can uh, find out the value of MQ, right? So the output of Q value can be equalized with the price. MC is equal to 4.04Q, which is equal to 20, point, 20 minus 0.1Q. So a uh, basic mathematical alge algebraic uh, simplifying this equation, we derive 4.04q By subtracting this uh, 20 from plus 4, you get plus 16. So, Q will be, it is 0 0.5. So, by 16 by 0 0.5 gives you 32. So, the Q value becomes, or uh, the Q value what we derived is 32 units. Now, we can uh, substitute each uh, Q value into our AC function and MC function to derive the exact numbers, ok. Now, we uh, we need to find a price. Once you need to understand or once you found this uh, Q value, we can substitute in the price equation to get the price. So, now we will get the price. From the given function, price is equal to 20 minus 1.0q. So, by substituting the q value here, 20 minus 1.0q, that is q is equal to 32, it gives you 20 minus 0.32, 
which is equal to 9.68 sorry 19.68 so this is the value price value of that product now we have found mc and q and price then ac what is the thing we left out that is profit now we will see the profit Now we need to find the rest of profit. So how can uh, profit can be calculated? Profit is just by subtracting the total cost from the total revenue, right? So with that concept, we need to find the profit. So to find the TR curve, the MR curve is not given or the total revenue curve is not given. But with the help of this, uh, quantity demanded and the price will derive the TR. So, with the help of this, we are going to find the value of TR, right? As you know, the value of Q is uh, 32 and price of the product is around 19.68. So, we just make it a whole number that is 20. So, we arrive the answer is 640. So, this is the total revenue. So, as you know the unit will be rupees. Here with the help of the uh, TC curve, we are going to find the value 100 plus 4 into Q is 32. Then substitute the value of these things. you will arrive okay 32 into 4 gives you 128 then when you multiply 0 0.2 into 32 square it gives you 6.4 okay so when you add together you get um, So, we can approximate to 234. So, total cost is 324 and uh, the total revenue is 640. So, we can simply find the profit of the firm is by subtracting the total cost from total revenue that is 640 minus 234 gives you 416. So, profit is rupees 416 for the given sum. So, in this way we have to find the profit, price, output and average cost and marginal cost. So, this is the easiest way which helps us in 
mathematic that is with the help of this uh, differentiation we can find this average cost, marginal cost, total cost. So, everything can be easily understood. So, concluding the mathematical mathematical tool that is differentiation plays a vital role in the cost function as well as we can find revenue function. We can have many more functions with the help of this uh, thing because it uh, helps the producer or the firm manufacturer to take a perfect decision during the long run as well as in the short run. So, the it helps in the relationship between uh, it helps the relationship between the output as well as the input cost which has to be taken in the right time thank you